Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So uh, this video is going to be checking on three hives I've been uh, doing some internal feeding on. This one here has a uh, top feeder and it was getting hammered pretty bad with the uh, uh, little lamps that we're getting up in here. So I put some uh, tangle foot on that brick down there on the bottom. So if they get up to this hive, they'd had to go all the way to the brick on the other end and all the way back, which they may have, but uh, and I still see ants on here. Oh my gosh. How are they getting up there? Anyway, let's check on this feeder. Uh, what happens is those little ants get in the syrup and they drown and it spoils the syrup and it, it goes bad and the bees won't take it. But hopefully it's empty. And it's not and it's full of freaking little ants. So down there is where I put the uh, tangle foot all around that brick. So they must be going. I'll just have to find their trail. Stupid suckers. Let's see what they do. They get in there and they all drown and then the syrup goes bad and the bees won't take it. So you can see there's bees all up in here, all along here. But they're not going down on that syrup. So that's two to one syrup. So either they don't want it or it's gone bad. And it's got some uh, feed stimulant in it too. So we'll just have to uh, check it and see. Okay, man. This video was a disaster from the beginning. <laughs> so I got down and I looked at the uh, block down there. And I guess I missed a spot. Uh, it's a spot about yay wide that doesn't have any on it. I don't know if it washed off or what, but uh, they found a way to get up here. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this into a bucket here, one of my open feed buckets, and I'll probably spill about half of it. <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to take it over where I've been open feeding. Uh, some bees have been attracted to it flying up around here and I can smell it. Uh, it still, it smells okay. So I think what's going on is the bees in here just don't want any more. Uh, it's gone down quite a bit because it was completely full. Uh, so they may just be done with it. So I'm gonna fill, uh, dump it into here and uh, hopefully this will hold all of it. And I'm gonna do it over here away from the hives. Yeah, so this was completely full and you can see they've taken it down a lot. So they've, they've taken in a lot. You can see bees are still attracted to it. So I think it's okay. So I'm just going to see if I can get some good out of this and, and get it uh, in this little two gallon bucket and do an open feed. Not sure how this is going to work. <laughs> So the whole bottom of this is covered with bees. Plus I gotta, it's gotta pour, the top section has to pour over the bottom. There we go. Plus it's getting a bunch of ants in there. Actually, I don't think I spilled too much. Yeah, I spilled quite a bit, but less than half. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this sitting out here. And, uh, well, I need to shake these bees out. That's the majority of them. So I'll just leave this out here for them to work on. And hopefully those ants don't clog this up. Let's do a weight check. This thing still don't weigh near enough. Look how easy I can slide it around. So, weight wise though, it just slides easy, but it's got some weight to it, but not where I'd like it to be. Get this inner cover on there. Okay, so we do need to come back and check this hive and consider it for reducing 
so I'll uh, put a brick on here like this so this is queenless and this means you need to check it so what we need to do is come back and see how many nectar frames they actually have in here what their population is and if it's not very strong still we'll reduce it down into a single deep and overwinter them in a single uh, the next thing we need to consider is doing a mountain camp feed or a, or a solid sugar feeder on top where we'll just put a bunch of sugar in a shim up here and uh, that'll be the next step so that'll be another video okay so a couple hours after i put this up here uh, looks like it's a uh, good viable food it's not rancid so you have the syrup a little bit drip down in here it's uh they are taking it it's uh about to right there right now so yeah that hive had just had enough they were done with it basically Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So uh, this video, we're going to check on this Hive 14. So what we've done on this Hive 14 is uh, the day I put out some uh, internal feeders. I did three. So I, you probably just saw the video where I put on the uh, top feeder that had the ants in it. So this one has an internal frame feeder. And I did put a little bit of Pro Health in these when I put them out. So the, the other one was... Uh, one of the hives over here anyway uh <laughs> so when i put all this together uh that pro health man it really caused a lot of robbing flying around here so i put the robber screen on let me show you that so there you can see it's all closed off around the bottom and it has that open screen but the only way the bees can get in and out is that little hole right there so that stops the other bees from robbing it out because they can't figure out how to get in there and the bees that are inside figure out uh, their new entrance and the way to get in there so i got this one on fairly quick so uh, i'm hoping uh, i got that thing on there in time and stopped the robbing and it didn't destroy this hive uh, hopefully those bees we see there are from this hive the way they're behaving pretty sure they are so let's get in here and let's see uh, how much of that nectar is left in the frame feeder. And if it's empty, we can probably just take this robin screen off. So again, the brick horizontal means uh, I'm feeding it, I'm doing something in here, it needs to be checked out. So this looks normal up here. It's got a little bit of population of bees here in the top. Yeah, this looks good. We got a good bee population up here on top. This frame feeder appears like it may be empty. Let me uh, get the camera over here. So I've got sticks down in here. Yeah, it's completely empty. So let's do a weight check. It's still not quite as heavy as I'd like it to be, so I'll come back and put a little bit in here at a later time. I kind of press for time right now. I have to run somewhere here in about 10 minutes. So just doing some quick checks. Okay, so this hive is pretty close where it needs to be. Uh, I want to see if I can get another frame feeder full of two to one in there and get them taken care of. I'm going to leave the robber screen on there uh, because it seems like they're they're uh, working through it okay. And uh, let's get over to this other hive that I'm feeding and let's check on it real quick. Okay, our other hive is hive number four. All right here with our brick. And it's got a frame feeder in it. So these are our three hives we've been feeding. 26, 15, and 4, or 14 and 4. So we got good uh, population of bees up here. That looks good. And I'm trying to do this without smoke. 
We got us a few small hive beetles over here I'm going to take care of. And these pine needles are from this feeder here. I got them in there floating to reduce the drowning. Looks like that's all of them. Oop, there's one. Okay. So our feeder is completely dry. So they've consumed it all. Let's uh, check the weight. Yeah, this hive now is like medium to heavy, so I would say we're good here. Uh, while we got our frame feeder in there, we could maybe fill it half full and uh, give them a little bit more. How'd you see him jump on that beetle? That's good when you see bees attack a small hive beetle. That means they're, they have good genetics and they're bred to where they'll do that and uh they'll keep the small hive beetles all corralled up and uh, don't let them into the hive so that's a good thing <laughs> ouch and i just got stung on the leg yeah so that's the end of this video we're uh man this hive is a little grumpy we're uh wrapping things up for the fall going into november now and uh trying to get our hives up to weight and enough uh, resources in there to get them through winter so give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care